through the darkness of future past. The magician longs to see one chance out between two worlds. Fire walk with me. Hello and welcome to your reading for the upcoming week. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, liking my videos, and leaving comments. I always love to read your comments. And I also offer personal readings on my website, so you're, if you're interested in that, please check out the description box below. Without any further ado, we are going to consult the gypsy cards to find out what the theme of the upcoming week is. And we have a beautiful one. This is hope. Um, at least the first impression that I get is that hope is a good thing. But uh, come to think of it, it can sometimes serve as a dangerous poison, especially in situations that are toxic or in some way um, illus illusory. So we are going to consult the tarot to find out what the exact significance of this theme is. And so let me read the words from the card. Hoffnung, hope, aspirants, nada, speranza, Remy. So let's see what the tarot reflects back to us regarding this card and this message. What is the exact context? of this hope, this emerging hope. All right, and we have the Hanged Man, which is a major arcana card, and it refers to those situations where there's a stalemate, a seeming impossibility of movement, oftentimes self-imposed. So there's restricted mobility. There's a sense of being stuck in a holding pattern, not being able to move forward. But sometimes, like I said, these situations are created intentionally as a way for the soul to learn and grow and to gain a different perspective. The hanged man hanging upside down and uh, in this beautiful depiction of this uh, archetype we see a pseudo halo formed around the head of the hanged man uh, in the shape of the sun going down beyond the horizon and uh, so there's um, a flirtatious attempt to gain enlightenment and clarity with the practices of the hanged man. There's always a, a secret desire to attain information that is otherwise inaccessible. So there's a discomfort to your situation and I would invite you to think about how you put yourself in the exact situation where you find yourself in. Now, this is not intended to make yourself doubt yourself or put blame on yourself. Instead, the cards are asking you to investigate whether the predicament 
that you find yourself within is in some way to your benefit, even if it is slowing you down, even if it feels like a setback, even if you don't quite see yet how you're going to get out of it. There's a quality to, to this experience that elevates it from ordinary experiences and where does hope come in in such a situation hope is sometimes no more than a change of reference a shift in your perspective finding that you have more power and more of a say in what happens to you than previously thought. So I'm inclined to draw another card here to find some more guidance to figure out what the hope is exactly bringing to your situation. What is the nature of this hope? Where can it take you? And here's the Knight of Wands. I see you covered in moss. You're almost like a big rock lying impotently without power to change position. I see you being unable to move or at least thinking that you are. And with hope entering the picture, you get a sudden surge of energy, an internal pro provocation to go forth and break down the barriers that hold you in this cage. The Knight of Wands is uh, kind of like a comet or a shooting star. Knight of Wands is a dancer who finds a way out of sticky situations by audaciously and bravely and sometimes unconventionally shattering the framework that is holding him captive. So the message is when you hear the voice from within, this voice of hope. Take that surge of motivation, take it as inspiration to step outside the lines that have been determined for you, either by yourself or by external circumstances. Be cheeky and frivolous and uh, individualistic in your approach what you will find is that there's a lot more ease in this current circumstance than you have previously seen it does require that you be proactive and that you take responsibility for you as an active participant in this scenario. But it doesn't mean that you have to be right or righteous or even uh, elegant when you move forward. This is more 
along the lines of uh, doing what it is, whatever it is that, that is available to you at this moment. Make a weird move. Step outside the paradigm and see what happens. I wish you all a great week. See you next time. Bye-bye.